don't know her. Serena Williams denies renewed friendship with Meghan Markle after awkward ESPY moment. The 2024 SB Awards ceremony was supposed to be a night of celebration and camaraderie amongst the top athletes in the world. However, it quickly turned into a cringe-worthy display of social discomfort between two of the most famous women in sports and entertainment. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Tennis legend Serena Williams and actress-turned-royal Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have long been publicly close friends and mutual admirers. But their much-discussed reunion at the ESPYs earlier this year has reignited speculation that the once-rock-solid bond between the two powerhouses may be fraying. The concerning moment unfolded as Meghan Markle took the stage to present the prestigious Arthur Ashe Courage Award to Serena. As Serena approached the microphone, Meghan reached out for what appeared to be an attempt at a warm embrace. But to the surprise of many watching, Serena visibly flinched and rebuffed Meghan's advance, barely acknowledging her before shifting her focus to the audience. The awkward interaction immediately went viral, with fans and commentators dissecting every micro-expression and body language cue between the two women. Some speculated that Serena's standoffish behavior was a purposeful snub, while others chalked it up to simple stage fright or social discomfort. In the days following the ESPYs, the rumor mill went into overdrive as reports surfaced claiming the incident was symptomatic of a deeper rift between the former close friends. Sources alleged that the once-inseparable duo had grown apart in recent years due to Meghan's increasingly demanding diva behavior and Serena's frustration with having to constantly accommodate her friends' regal expectations. Now, in a tell-all interview with a prominent sports magazine, Serena Williams is finally breaking her silence on the much-discussed ESPY moment and the current state of her relationship with Meghan Markle. To be honest, I don't really know Meghan anymore, Serena admits, her brow furrowed with a mixture of exasperation and sadness. I mean, we were close once, but that was a long time ago. A lot has changed since then. The 23-time Grand Slam champion goes on to explain that their friendship began to deteriorate shortly after Meghan's marriage to Prince Harry and her subsequent elevation to the rank of royalty. Megan just changed, you know? Serena says, shaking her head. She got caught up in all the fame and attention that came with joining the royal family. Suddenly, she had all these demands and expectations. Things had to be a certain way. She needed special treatment, that kind of thing. Serena recounts how Megan would frequently call on her for favors, whether it was arranging private tennis lessons, securing prime seats at Wimbledon, or coordinating high-profile social engagements. At first, Serena was more than happy to oblige her friend. But as the requests became more frequent and the demands more unreasonable, the tennis star began to feel taken advantage of. There were times where I'd be in the middle of training or about to head to a tournament, and Megan would just call me out of the blue, expecting me to rearrange my entire schedule, Serena recalls, her voice tinged with frustration. It got to the point where I felt like I was constantly having to cater to her needs instead of focusing on my own career and my own life. Serena admits that she eventually started to pull back from the friendship, citing the need to prioritize her tennis and her family. This, in turn, only seemed to exacerbate Megan's neediness, leading to a number of tense confrontations between the two women. Megan just didn't understand that I had my own stuff going on, Serena says. She'd get upset if I couldn't be there for her every single time she wanted something. It was like she expected me to drop everything for her, and that was just never going to happen. The awkward espy moment, Serena explains, was a culmination of the growing distance and discord between the former friends. She says she was caught off guard by Megan's attempted hug, which is why she reacted so coolly. I think Megan thought we were still as close as we used to be, but the truth is, I don't really know her anymore. Serena admits, we're just in very different places in our lives right now, and I've had to accept that our friendship isn't what it once was. When asked if there's any hope for a reconciliation, Serena's response is cautiously optimistic, but tinged with skepticism. Look, I'll always care about Megan and wish her the best, she says, but I think we both need to accept that our friendship has run its course. Maybe one day we can reconnect, but for now, I'm just focused on my own life and my own priorities. I don't have the energy to constantly cater to someone else's needs, you know? As the interview concludes, 
Serena's parting words offer a glimmer of hope for those still rooting for a Serena Megan reunion. Never say never, I guess, she says with a wry smile. But for now, let's just say I'm keeping my distance. I don't know her.